the Arbor Rack Fungal Symphony. Do you hear, Flesh Thing? The harmonies of the Arbor Rack. Your golems of metal and noise and fire have deafened you to the symphony. Dzuga Rofal. System Statistics. Faruban System. Population 1. Government Hive Mind. Leadership The Arborek. Disposition Mysterious. Tendencies Expansionist. The fungal world of Nestvar is home to the symbiotic Arborek. Nestvar's orbit is filled with flaw spores that extend its symphony. Not the least of the mysteries surrounding the Arborek is the question why? What does such a life form seek? What is it searching for out there amidst the stars? Notable Personae Latani Osfa Unity through Peace. I am Arborek. Even the smallest spore may grow into a towering structure or a mighty vessel of the stars. I wish my spores to grow strong and tall and wide. And so I send forth my Latani. Through them, I unleash the full potential of myself. Darzuga Rofal, peace through strength. As I grow, I must expand. I send forth my Darzuga into the galaxy so that I may touch many lives. Latani Miyazmiala. Strength through unity. Wherever I live, I may put down roots. Wherever I put down roots, I will endure till the last star dies. Brightest in the Morgallon Cluster burns the old star Faruban, while sun to no less than 26 satellites Faruban's only inhabitable planet is the tropical giant of Nestfar. A planet teeming with life so abundant it almost defies description. On first approach to Nestfar, a first-time visitor may be surprised by the soupy haze that bleeds from the planet's atmosphere like a dusty cloud. This cloud consists of quadrillions of tiny living spores emitted by Nestfar's many flaw, city-sized floating forests in the stratosphere. The short-lived and therefore continually resupplied orbital presence of the flaw spores allows the Arborek denizens in Nestvar's space stations and shipyards to remain in continuous symbiotic contact with their planet. The Arborek term for this vital connection, shared among all living things on Nestvar, is best translated as the symphony. The Arborek should be described not as a race, but as an intelligent ecosystem consisting of countless biological specimens from the smallest spore to the complex fungal organisms of the Latani. When traveling beyond the reach of Nestvar's flaw spores and therefore outside connection to the Prime Symphony, the Arborek employ the massive Latani. Physically, the Latani are the largest sentient beings yet discovered in the galaxy, each slightly larger than a sole elephantus. Their bodies resembling a kraken-shaped mushroom crossed with a monstrous carnivorous flower. The Latani are each uniquely capable of embodying a powerful instance of the symphony, and therefore closest to an individual within Arborek society, which may act as a harmonic nexus for Arborek organisms in near proximity. All ships in the Arborek fleet are based around the presence of at least one, with some ships as many as five, Latani orchestrating the unity of Arborek life forms crewing the vessel. Once a Latani returns to the embrace of Nestfar's prime symphony, its experiences are reconnected and absorbed into the Arborek as a data capsule would be reconnected to a mainframe. The admittance of the Arborek to the Galactic Council was undoubtedly the most controversial in the Council's long history. A small group of elder races, led by the humans of Sol, viciously protested admittance by reason of moral impediment. While surely intelligent and demonstrably capable of crafting impressive technologies, structures, and a sophisticated fleet of interstellar craft, the Arborex method of communication remains a source of great controversy. 
being a race of vegetative and fungal matter, handling its own data transmission and a mode of projection through the Prime Symphony, the Arborek had never developed any form of visual or auditory communication, concepts which to this day remain foreign to them. Arborex scientists found the solution to this dilemma in the sole merchant vessel Deus Opulin. The crew of the Deus Opulin had tragically become infected by a Boran plague on Maluk and had later died in deep space. When the derelict ship was found by an Arborex scout, it was determined the cool bodies of the human crew were in perfect condition for an ambitious experiment. The bodies were sent to the great laboratories in Kushin, near the Arborek capital, Fera. Here, fungal Arzuga cells were attached to the brain stems of the dead humans. It was hoped when grown under proper conditions, the complex acidic properties of Arzuga would successfully merge the cells with the innate brain tissue of the deceased subjects, slowly re-stimulating the neural pathways back to life. Then, by injecting photovoltaic stems into the soft tissues of the dead body, the neurally active Arzuga would spur the soft tissue cells to heal and regrow, effectively reanimating the dead body. The experiment was a rousing success, and one that would change the destiny of the Arborek. Symbiotically attached to the host body, the Arzuga fungi evolved into a new being, one which the Arborek called the Derzuga. The Darzuga were the missing link between the symphony and the manifestation of physical communication that the Arborek lacked. Over the following few decades, the Arborek eagerly acquired additional subjects. Human bodies seemed to work best and are the most frequently used, but Letnev, Winu, and extra bodies are also commonly used as Darzuga hosts. Establishing a sizable diplomatic and trading corps that have become the basis for the Arborek's interaction with the rest of the galaxy. The Arborek insist the host bodies of the Drazuga are devoid of the expired individual's consciousness. With a cultural relationship to death rooted in the natural cycle of decomposition and regrowth, the Arborek have little understanding or sympathy for those who vigorously protest against the bodies of their citizens being reused. Some use the term enslaved in such a manner. Ultimately, despite the objections of the dissident races, the Arborek were admitted as a member of the Galactic Council. The potential wealth of foodstuffs, medicines, and other treasures of Nestvar proved effective in overcoming any objections. While the Arborek insist that the past knowledge and experiences of Derzuga bodies do not persist beyond this reanimation, there are some who suspect the Arborek do not tell the entire truth. Such theorists can provide many examples in which the Arborek seem to have come upon information or intimate understanding of other cultures that seem inexplicable otherwise. If some memories and knowledge of the dead are absorbed by the Arborek, would emotion and ambition be as well? Is it possible, perhaps even likely, that in digesting the music of such alien lives, the Arborek are in turn infecting the symphony? Is this why the Arborek have come to show keen interest in colonization and expansion? Is this why they have come to exhibit such signs as duplicity or even aggression?